Hi guys, this is Amy Heyman and I'm going to do your horoscopes for the week. So, um, tour season begins at 1024 on Tuesday, April 19th. Um, beauty is the focus in tourist season, so make sure you go out and smell the flowers and maybe redecorate your home or declutter, you know, spring cleaning. It's, um... It's a really good week to just be mellow and not push yourself too hard. The energy in the air is not going to let yourself work too hard anyway. We're going, we're shifting to a downturn. Mercury clashes with Saturn on Sunday, April 24th at 9.49 p.m. So there may be a few disagreements, but don't worry. They should all get settled and forgiveness will soon follow. So let's get into the signs. Aries, take a big risk when it comes to your career and step on it. Your energy is running out and you need to get on those plans that you had because soon you're going to be relaxing and not pushing yourself. Taurus, happy birthday. Uh, stop hiding and come out of your house. You've been, you've had your nose down and you've been, uh, working and dealing with things at home, but it's time to like come out and hang out with your friends and have a good time, okay? You will be influencing people um, as Mercury connects to Neptune. Everyone's gonna feel like you're super intelligent and you have the right things to say, so just remember that. Gemini, Monday is your last hurrah, so go out and have fun with your friends, do something, you know, exciting because this week you're going to be keeping your nose down and working hard. Um, you are in a state this week of a bit of confusion when it comes to something. It could be love. It could be uh, future plans, you know, but just remember to meditate, take some yoga classes, stretch out, get a massage, like it's all going to be okay. You're going to figure it out. But right now you don't need to figure it out. So just relax. Cancer. You're coming out of some hard realizations about yourself. Uh, maybe a friend sort of dropped some truth bombs on you. But it's okay. You, uh, you actually learn from it. And you're healing. But it's time to bring some new energy into your life, new activities. So maybe hang out with some, someone new this week. Leo, money, opportunities, and healing is your focus this week. Um, in the beginning of your week, you're what, you might want to go off on someone, just, but just remember to pause and go work out at the gym instead. It's really not worth burning that bridge, okay? Virgo, you have transformed and are ready for a trip. If you don't have the money or the time off work to get out of Dodge, you should go somewhere in your area, go to a museum, go to the botanical gardens, like just do something new because you deserve it and you're really wanting it this week. Libra, you haven't been keeping up with all of your responsibilities and you're kind of in this energy of like, oh shit, I've got to figure this out. Don't worry about it, just figure it out, make things right, and don't be defensive if someone at work calls you out on it, okay? Scorpio, you are moving into intimacy with someone. You may have been play messing around, playing around, but you have finally found someone that you're actually content with. Um, just remember to keep your boundaries, and this week is actually a very good week for healing some old friendship wounds. Sagittarius, uh, <laughs> you Sagittarius have been getting lucky um, with people in the bedroom and with your party, like going out for parties and drinking and having fun. But now this week is a time to shift into a health uh, health routine and a work a good work routine. So Mercury connecting with Neptune may. Um, actually have you trying to lead someone else back in the bedroom or go to another big party but listen 
try to balance it with work because you've got to plan for your upcoming month of work and routine. Also, remember to eat healthier, exercise, and stop drinking so much, okay? Capricorn, you've been working alone lately. Um, you've been in a lot of solitude, which is, but you've been getting some really great um, progress with your, your solitude work. But this week, you're going to want to hang out with someone, go on a date, or just hang out with a friend and have a drink. Someone is pushing your buttons, but forgiveness is in the air this week. So I think you may actually come to a resolution with whatever conflict may be going on. Aquarius, um, cancel that friend hang out because you're exhausted. You've really been pushing yourself with your career and you've been making a lot of progress. But this week it's about just calming down a little bit, giving yourself a break. Um, this whole month will be easier on you and your partner. You'll be less stressed. And you are resting in this Taurus season to get ready for the super exciting Gemini season where you'll be more social and out and about and traveling more. Pisces, uh, Taurus is grounding you. Um, you may be doing some like altruistic work this week. You may be teaching someone uh, something that you know something about and it's going to like really heal your soul and you're going to feel really good about it. Um, this week also brings in great connections uh, and conversations. So you're going to have some like almost like spiritual experiences. You're going to like really get intimate with someone, maybe a friend, maybe you're just going to learn more about someone and it's going to like really satisfy you. Um, also remember to connect with nature this week, uh, which that will also like help your soul. So maybe like go out to a park, take your shoes off and like stick your feet in the grass and ground yourself. And that's it. That's my 12 signs. Uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful week and happy birthday again, Taurus.